Hello. Oh, okay. How's everyone going to go? Hi there, Robin. Robin. How's everyone today? I've had one of those uh, days. One of those days where I got up earlier than planned. And I thought, well, while I'm up so early, right, I'll get to the shops. Because I hate shopping. So I thought, I'll go while it's quiet. So I did. I went to the shops. Lost. You lost. What do you mean, lost? I went to the shops. I come back, but I was absolutely shattered by then. So I was just lay on my sofa. I thought I'll have a little, little nap for an hour. So I did. I don't even think it was an hour because I had a YouTube channel on. And that was only on for an hour and a half. And I'd watched half hour of it before falling asleep. So, when I woke up, it was still on. So it wasn't even an hour's nap I had. And then, I'm up and I'm about, I'm doing little things around my place. You're lost with this case. Well, i tell you something, Robbie. I am... It is very confusing, and what's confusing this case is all the misinformation that is being put out there. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. It doesn't need to happen. We don't need all this misinformation. Right? And we still, I've seen someone today on a Facebook page. <laughs> And I literally put my ha head in my f hands and went, no, they're still going on about the misinformation that was put out last week about, what was it now? Uh, oh, about Sebastian texting his gran the night before. Two people I'd seen put up a post and two people I've commented on, I said, that has been claimed as false information. It did not happen. It, you know what I mean? Please stop putting this false information out. And then you've got people coming in and asking questions like, have they done a search of the house? Uh, where have you been for the last three months? Please. You know what I mean? Where have you been? Okay, some people say, might say, well, I've only just seen this case. Okay, fair enough. And so you'll have someone come on and they'll put a comment about everything, the facts, everything of the case. And I've seen this about a week ago, and I noticed the same woman's come back on, on, another, on a Facebook page saying, have they done, oh, God. You've just been given all the facts of the case last week. Please stop coming with all this stupid. You're just going, we're just going around in circles. And the fact that people are still holding on to all this misinformation, it's ridiculous. And what has, to, what has our Tony done again? Apparently, he don't like YouTube. He doesn't like. He doesn't want to open a YouTube channel. He don't like YouTube. But he gets all his information off flipping YouTube. We said, "For get rid of T Tony, he's going to take the attention." Yeah, this is it. All this misinformation is just taking the attention off Sebastian, right? And f so flipping annoying, right? So, but I've got the clip of him being on. I've got TikTok, right? And 
I don't post on it much. If I do it about Sebastian or another missing child that I'm looking at, you know what I mean? But I don't go live because you can't, it doesn't, he says, all my, he says, all my lives are recorded. So why can't we see them once, you go, once the live is finished? Why can't we watch them? Right? And this is what people are going on at him now. If you want to do a live, go on Facebook because it stores it. It stores it on, the, on your page. Flipping hell, he opened a page up for Sebastian. So why doesn't he use his Facebook page to do lives? Right? And he, someone said, then I've seen someone saying about how they haven't got enough subscribers to go live on, tic, on, on YouTube. I'm thinking, are you for serious here? Are these people really for serious? So I put a comment in saying, you don't need memberships. You don't need followers to have a channel on YouTube. You don't need any of that to go live. You can go live any time of the day and it will get stored. Once that live is finished, it gets stored onto your channel, onto your page. Right? And I'm going... And you don't need followers. You don't need none of that. Where with TikTok, you need at least minimum 800 followers to be able to go live. Right? You need 200 followers just to be able to go up on a panel. And they don't save your videos. Yet Seth likes that. And I tell you what, uh, Chris, uh, Tony likes that. Sorry, not Seth. He said it today. You can't slow the chat down in on TikTok. Right? Oh, really? Okay. That's good. I wouldn't say where he lives. I'd say en route to Clarksville. I've got a feeling it's somewhere en route to Clarksville. Right? Because I think if his body is found, and I think it's now a recovery, I really do. I'm sorry, Seth, if you hear this, I'm really sorry. If you ever get to hear any of my videos, I'm really sorry. But I think it's a recovery, and if they recover his body on 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 route to Clarksville, it'll be oh, see, we told you that he we told you he walked out of this house. He was making his way to his dad's. You know what I mean? But I'm sure if he walked out that house, knowing he's going to make his way to his dad's, he'd, even if he ran out of the house, I'd have picked my shoes up. Just so that when I got somewhere down the road or whatever, I could have put my shoes on. You know what I mean? It, would have, it wasn't planned. Him leaving that house was not planned. Right? And the fact that every time Chris mentions where Seth lives in Clarksville, she'll nudge him. When I say he's got to be weighed down, if he's in a river, he's got to be weighed down because his body will just come up by now. Yeah. I don't know. I did that Google map last night where I showed the route to Clarksville. And so much open land and forests and wooded area. You know what I mean? They could have put him in any of that wooded area. Right? So... But the fact that nothing's been found, 
but the rivers, I'm sure the rivers have been searched. I don't know if the Cumberland River has. Oh, let's just pull Google Maps up so we can see. Uh. Oh, let's have a look. Cumberland River, yep. Hold on. Right, let's have a look. Put my layers on. For some reason, I have to have this layer on. I have to, because then I can see, gives me a better view. Hold on, I'm just going to share it now with you. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, if he's anywhere on that route to Clarksville, they put him there. It could be, I to say, look, we told you he walked, he left his house and he was heading towards his dad because he knows how to get there, right? Or B, to try and make Seth look guilty. You know what I mean? Right, East Cumberland River. Oops, pull out a bit. Well, there's two rivers, so. Where's the mouth of that river? For sake, you've got a Stones River as well. And, yeah, you've got a Stones River. No, I'm going to go wrong around. Directions. I'm going to do that. Oh, God, it's up that way. Well, that's going away from his dad's. His father lives that way. So, um, and it takes 2 hours 20 minutes, or 2 hours 24 minutes, or 2 hours 29 minutes, depending on, depending on what route you take. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that river goes like that. Hmm. 
no, I'm thinking more. Hold on. Uh, I'll put up the clock spell. Right. Now you got where they live there, and they've got two ways they could go. Well, yeah. One takes one hour and nine minutes, and one takes one hour twenty three minutes. Now Sebastian knew his way to his dad's. But just look at this. If they put him anywhere, it's going to be somewhere here, round here. Because look at all this. And you can tell by the colours. Hi, Jenny. That's where he is more than three times, really. Okay, I think so. I think him could be in water, but I don't. I don't know. Let's have a look at the map, right? Is there any rivers around here, or any big lakes? You know what I mean. I know there was a woman who said she, she herself and some either family members or friends w was going out daily on horseback. But I don't know whereabouts she was checking. She said between, she lived between Clarksville and Hendersonville. So she must live round this way somewhere. Right. And she said every day they was going out on horseback. Hang on, you got white, white. Okay, I'll see. Oh, wow. In, in. All right, so yep. If any searcher is going to find him, it's going to be her, her dogs, and that is what Chris doesn't like. And she's yeah, you know, she did a live. I think she's done two now on YouTube, right? And this is what got me mad today. That's going, oh, it's so complicated to set up a live on you on YouTube. No, it's not. Right? Get a streaming app. Right? Sign up to it. Some of them you don't like. I'm sure with StreamYard, I can't remember now. You can have a free version, or you can pay. I pay, right? And, um, but if you've got the money, uh, like, it's, I think it's twelve ninety nine or nineteen ninety nine a month, I can't remember. But I, I get my fair use out of it because I'm on it daily. So... 
but he is in, I, I don't know, I want to say he's on land because this is just so thick. You know what I mean? All round here, it's just so thick. You know what I mean? You've got little roads that come off here. Where you could go round and then into here. Sort of thing. Or you wouldn't go that way because there's like houses and whatever that way. But here, there's nothing. Right? There's nothing over here. But there's little roads or whatever. Yeah? What the hell? Oh, shit. Right, it's all right. My screen just went black then. I thought, what the hell? Yeah. Hi, SRB. You're late. <laughs> You're okay. I tried to tell Tia what's been said, but she won't listen. <coughs> because she, I think she, she's like many that believes that he's on land. You know what I mean? But today, I'm not joking. That Tony guy threw Seth and law enforcement under the bus. Send me to the office. <laughs> Oh, right. So, and I'll tell you what else I've noticed today. I'm flipping fuming. Right. This is what got me so mad today. There's a couple of YouTubers I follow. Right. And... The one is all Sebastian. He is totally all in for Sebastian. Hold on. And it just so happens that these two YouTubers were at the vigil. Yeah, I know. I've got that. I've got it on here. I've got... See it to my Facebook page. I'll play that. Right. Hold on a minute. I've just got a nip somewhere. Hold on. Sorry about that. No, I don't. I like to, I, 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 I want st to stay hopeful. I really do. But it's not looking good. But, anyway, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, um, he's come out today, last night, again on TikTok. MG, how you been? And it's annoying me because he goes on TikTok knowing that no one's going to catch him because it's gone 12 o'clock at night when he goes on. And most intelligent people with brains are normally in bed.
Wow. Oh, well, don't worry. Don't worry, Robin. Because Tony... Oh, my God. Then I heard this the other, yesterday, or was it this morning or whatever? Right? How... When he was at the vigil, he was always by Tony, uh, Chris Seth's side, right? Stopping... Asking... No, not stopping people, but just saying if they wanted to speak to Seth... Well, hold on a minute, please. It's just, you know what I mean? It's like a bodyguard. And I had this vision of a uh, this uh, Tony jumping in front of Seth to take that bullet. I thought, you know, get that out of your head, Angie. It's not going to happen. Oh, good. That's good, MG. So, you don't need Tony, no, right? But Tony says he's there for the, just to take the pressure off Seth to do all these interviews. Fine, do these interviews, but get all your facts checked and kicked off. Don't go out there spouting your mouth off about something and then when you're pulled up about it, which he was on that live, right, that one guy who was on there, who was a retired cop, uh, police officer, uh, he said in the end, before he was like politely kicked off the panel, He said that Amber Alert is false. And then literally within minutes, he's been politely kicked off the panel so someone else could come up. Hi, Kathy. OMG, we've got a new, uh, we've said, um, we're not, <laughs> we're not going to monetize, right? We're going to call my first membership. I'm only having one membership. I'm not having two or three or four or five. <laughs> We're going to call it the Cougar Crew. The Cougar Crew. I think some of these were licking their lips the other night when they seen Pascal at the uh, <coughs> at the uh, vigil. Tony is a liar, he's, he's kind of like this, distance yourself from anyone like that. Yeah, but he needs, like, one woman come on that show, right, come on that live, and she said, she's uh, trained, She's she's got all the qualifications, she's in PR, and all that, right, and she said, not yet, when I get monetized. I'm not monetized. <laughs> and, uh, but we're calling, I'm going to call it the Cougar Crew. Anyway, so, um, she's come on and she said, if you need to bounce, want to bounce any questions off me, get any ideas, like, just do so. And you know what he said? <coughs> Pardon me. Can you email me? He won't talk to him face to face. And now, someone who's there to help Seth, right? Do you think he'd go for all the help he could? He's not fully trained in PR. Yep. Oh, God. We came up with it because I think most of us the other night were saying, I think we're all uh, above that a certain age because we're talking about summer. And then someone said something about Cougar. And I said, that's what I'll call my first membership when I get monetized. Mm, I know, Robin. 
I'm seriously worried. Yeah, you got to marry out a little longer before we can wear our cougar badge. Yes, he is fine, man. I saw T Rev. I like T Rev. He's my height as well. He is hurting. Seth is hurting. And all this BS that keeps coming out daily, and it's all by his. Uh, he doesn't call himself the PR man, he calls himself the. What is it? He's he saying. <laughs> right. So, but it's like his bodyguard. Everywhere Seth goes, he's got to be there. Right? Vetting, vetting people who wanted to come up and say hello and just give Seth a hug. Vetting them. What the hell? Right? And then someone said, I'm one of the YouTube channel. Apparently there's people there with guns. Uh, there probably was. There's a lot of bikers there. You know what I mean? But none of them would go out and assassinate Seth. Oh, for Christ's sake, I'm thinking. You know what I mean? People wanted to go up and give Seth a hug and... Everything and they're vetting them. I thought that's just ridiculous. I can just say to them, Look, I've come from wherever. If I want to go see Seth, I will see Seth move out the way. Yes, he said that. I seen it this morning. I didn't see it last night. I seen it this morning. Something he's found is seeing or heard, and he's finding it very odd, and he's checking into it. And you know what? Someone even put on a Facebook page that apparently T Rev has got some information that he's putting together. I'm thinking the way she said it is so he's got this big information, and he's gonna blast. No, he's fact checking. He's fact checking everything before he goes anywhere. Right, yeah. I do. Um, he's told to his, he told him apparently that he was going to, you're going to get the blame. You're going to be the full guy for that. Now, I'm wondering, did Tony send that video to Seth's mother? Because there's so many of them now who are opening up fake Profiles. It's easy enough to open up an email address and someone like Robin isn't going to be, oh, should I check where that email is from? Can I get the IP address and find out where it came from? You're not thinking like that. So someone sent it to his mother first and that's what is more, more angry about that. That got sent to his mother. Well, apparently T Rev sleep is living in Seth's um, <laughs> uh, basement. And then you got people, it probably wasn't even at the vigil, putting him down, T Rev down, right? By saying, oh, he was cooking the hot dogs. And hanging them out. No, he wasn't. He he told Seth he wanted to con contribute to the vigil. And that he would go and buy all the food they needed and any water they needed. And that's what he did. He went and bought the food. He went and bought the water. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like him. I love him. I, I think he's a sweet lad. I, I say lad, he's 33, but to me he's a lad. He's my son's age. So he's a lad. Is, he is my son 33 or 34? 
hang on. Uh, 1990, 2000. He's 34, sorry. He's younger than my son. Yeah. But when he, re when he talked about, and even played that video, he shouldn't have played that video. He shouldn't have gave it to another TikToker to play. He should have. And then he's going, well, do you think, when this woman come up on panel after the other guy got down, he said, do you think I should phone whoever is up and ask him why this is going out on his web, web page, his website? Right? Yes, you should. And you should fact check everything you see and hear. Right? This is what the woman said. So then all the other women was going, I will do that before you look even stupider. You know what I mean? Because he, he put it out there before even checking. He shouldn't have done that. He knew exactly what he was doing by putting it out there. He knew this would get talked about. But you know what, Tony? I was all for you. If you're going to be there to help Seth with the interviews, then fine. Just get your facts straight. Don't go out there blabbing your mouth off on a TikTok show and then go, Hmm, I should really get in touch with him somehow. Yeah, you should have done that before you even released that video. I can't see it being there much longer because Seth's got a crack. He's, he's, he's always, already blown up once. And there's nothing come, good coming out every day. There's always something else that Tony has said or Tony has done. So, uh, let's get my Facebook page. Because I said, I wasn't going to, but I shared it to my Facebook page. Because I thought, no, I'll put it on my live tonight. Right? Even though it's all BS. It's only the short, a short version, about two minutes long. So, here we go. All right, are we ready? Yep, we're ready. Tee it up. Broadcasting live at U.S. Watch to help find Sebastian Rogers. He was abducted by an unknown suspect, possibly in an unknown vehicle. Carefully navigate to your assigned watch zone and check in to claim your reward at us.watch slash find Sebastian. Do not trespass or confront a suspect. To report a sighting or any suspicious activity, call 911 or tap the phone button. Stay tuned in to this broadcast at us.watch slash find Sebastian to get the latest information and search instructions pertaining to this alert. I'm going to let Deputy Phillips take it from here. Thank you, Deputy Skaggs. And thank you to everyone actively searching at us.watch slash find Sebastian. Curtis Harris just cleared their first watch zone. Today's top searchers are Melanie Smith with two zones cleared, Janet Schneider with two zones cleared, cleared, and Curtis Harris with one zone cleared. Keep up the great work, everyone. This is Deputy Michaels. Yeah. Wow. Right. Now, that website. That's a drop the mic moment, right, guys? Drop yep. you the shit. What do you think about Maybe. that? Right? Drop the mic. Drop yourself in the shit. Yeah. Anyway, so apparently this website was set up by one of the detectives on the case. And from what I can make out, from you heard a certain person had cleared two zones and someone else had cleared one zone. The more zones you clear, the more you get paid. They get paid for clearing a zone. I'm thinking, what? Hi, hi Bernadette. Hi, Victoria. I'm thinking, what the hell? Paying people to go out search and clear a zone. What's a, what zone? It does, it's, 
Oh. So, it should have vetted all that. And then after that, they only go and play it again. They play it a second time. Right? And I'm thinking, really? You've not vetted this information. You've not fact-checked it. Nothing. But because it's coming from a website that is run by one of the detectives on the case, it must be true. Hold on. Oh, God. So my pen, just, my pen has just fell on the floor and I had to go and pick it up before my cat did. So, and then that ever goes on there with him is a, an ex, ex police officer from somewhere. That's what I can make out because it was saying such and such a clear two zones. And if you listen to the whole TikTok, interview and he's out there somewhere and I couldn't find it. I could not find it. I wish I'd shared it straight away when I seen it. And it it kinda of in it's, it's like the more zones you clear, the more you get paid. I'm thinking, hold on, this is a missing child. It's a missing child. Who on earth is if I was in the US and I was able to go and search, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even do it for I wouldn't want money. You know what I mean? It'd be the last thing on my mind. The first thing on my mind is, let's get out there. Let's make sure we got all the correct gear on, the boots, the trousers, you name it. Because it's snake season. We don't want to be going through and getting bit by snakes and mosquitoes. Make sure you got all that spray. You know what I mean? It is, it's so, it's so wrong. But he put it out there, and then because that ex-police officer, retired police officer, said something, after he played it a second time, that retired police officer, I don't know, I didn't catch his name, said, it's false. And I swear to God, as soon as he said it was false, that was not the real Amber Alert, they li he literally got rid of him on the panel, literally, and brought something else up. And then later on in the interview, as time's going on, uh, this guy comes back up on the panel, because you can only have four on, up on the panel, right? And... Heard of what S SG? I could go, but you see, to get onto that website, you've got to give them your phone number. And I'm not giving no one my phone number. Right? So... I'll try and do some research on that website and find out how it works about the searches and the zones and if you get paid for it. But that is how it was being made out on that phone call, right? Because they're putting out the names of the people who are doing two zones, such and such is doing one zone. You know what I mean? And I'm thinking, are they getting paid? And then someone else said uh, something as well. The lab had um, Rockingham search on his panel yesterday and they said they're coming back. They'll only come back because of the police. They'll work with the police. <coughs> we won't work with anyone else but the police. Right? So, does that mean there's going to be another two-day search put on by the police? Is this what they're going to do each month? Just put a two-day search on each month? Um, it doesn't make why. So, oh God, so I'm trying to sort my hair out. It's getting in my way. 
Um, but I will check into that site and see how it works. And I'll get back to you about that because something is not right. Right? Seriously wrong. If they are paying people to do searches, that is seriously out of order. They spoke on another channel the other night and they are waiting to see if they get back. back. They are hoping they will. Does that one, one woman on our channel get paid? On that panel we just seen of that TikTok. Right? Now he said he don't believe in people profiting off anything to do with Sebastian. Right? <coughs> but he is. Oh, right. Um, I don't want to get to the channel, channel get past. I don't know. I don't know. She goes out there on her own or with some of her mods, you know what I mean? Or people, friends of hers. And she don't say where she's going, when she's going, nothing. Because she don't want to be followed, she doesn't want to be threatened, right? So a lot of them, even Seth has said, when these searches start back up again, they are not putting out where they're doing their searches. Because that is why he stopped before. People go, well, he hasn't searched since Easter. He stopped the searches because... His, his volunteers were being followed, intimidated. You know what I mean? We had other search teams out there, right, on their boats. They got threatened, so they backed away. That's why all these searches by volunteers literally stopped. Because of the threats from... Outsiders. And then you got CP saying and KP saying, well, we moved down to the caravan. Um, we moved down, down to Logi Bear or Yogi Bear, whatever his fucking name is, because we was being threatened. Uh, don't you mean you, your husband what, and his family or his friends were threatening? There's a lot of channels that aren't monetized. They don't get paid. No, law enforcement hasn't asked to see you either. No. Why? Why haven't they asked them and used their resources? Even though they've stood there in interviews to the press say they have used all the resources that is available to them. At the time, they'd already used EcuSearch, right? But they'd never used CUE, Q. Never. And the PI, Heather, right, told Seth about this, and he, he registered Sebastian on their site. He registered Sebastian on their site. But Q work with law enforcement, like EcuSearch, and they won't come in unless law enforcement asks them to. Uh, I know it's sad. Yes. Uh, tires got slashed, didn't they? Yep. And that was the guy she's seen 
this one car go past, then back again. You know what I mean? And she caught the car on her camera. But for some reason, it was very, like, uh, out of focus sort of thing. And that was the same day. That's why I don't want these private people, these uh, public searches out there and private searches out there because they want to take. I swear to God, if a YouTuber was out there and found Sebastian, do you think that YouTuber would get the thanks? No. It'd be, oh, look at us, we've done our job. Let's stand there in front of the camera. We did our job. Look, we found him. Exactly, it's still be, yep, Robin. It's not, it's not productive. And it's a shame that you got someone like Tony, who's supposed to be protecting, helping Seth, is out there putting these stupid rumours out there again. Without fact checking, I'm no, I'm no detective. I'm no. I haven't been doing this for years and years and years. I've only been doing this since January, right? And uh, I know that if I get, if anyone says to me or sent me in any information for, through my email, right? I want to check it. Like, I want to check that website now so that I can come back. Yeah, because he double back, he double backs on himself. He goes, Yeah, um, I think I need to speak to such and such tomorrow and get this cleared up. Well, you should have done that before you went live. You should have done that before you went live. And you know last night when we was listening to the dispatch call, how I said, hold on, if they went through the sheriff's office, they must have relayed it to the dispatcher, the call back to the dispatcher. Yeah? So why didn't I just go through law enforcement? Because they said they didn't want to be passed from one to another. Well, in a, any case like that, they have to put it out to a dispatcher so then the dispatcher can send out the nearest department. Right? I thought, so they must have phoned up, uh, the sheriff's office must have sent it back to the dispatcher. And someone else said that office does not open till 8 a.m. in the morning. Does not open. Getting ready for what? I think J Jules needs to um, let loose her dogs on Tony. Sorry. Just my opinion. Wouldn't it be good if you could have a train a dog? Right? To catch people out on lies. Yeah, yeah, and I've noticed a lot of them. Yeah. And it just it's just so annoying. He will not come on YouTube. Right? Because what was it he said in that interview? I can't remember. I wish to God I shared it now to my page when I first seen it. Right? And um he won't come on YouTube. He don't want he don't like YouTube. And I thought, no, but you sit there all day and all night watching these YouTube channels to get the information. To hear what people are saying, if you're looking good or if you're looking bad. And Tony, you're doing nothing for Seth. No, people will turn away from Seth and you're not helping. But I won't. I'll stick with Seth. 
even when everyone else has stopped, apparently Pascal has said, said he's not going to do any more lives on Sebastian unless any more new information comes out. Yeah, it's just like, guess who else? CP. He admitted himself at the beginning is no expert in this. You know what I mean? So if you're no expert, why would you take on a case like this for your 15 minutes of fame, Tony? Because this isn't about fame and glory. It's about a missing child. A missing 15-year-old autistic lad. Not your ego. You know what I mean? I swear to God, you, what you're doing is not going to help you, Tony. Because everyone else has got, there's going to be other families out there thinking, with missing children, I'm going, we're not having him. We're not having him come along. No, we're not having him help us. No way. Yeah. And that website, web page, it's only for missing children as well. Not adults, just children. Why is it just children, you know what I mean? Okay, I on my other channel that I've gonna I don't know if I'm gonna do a live tomorrow. I might just do a video in the afternoon and then put it out. Right? Because I wanna go live tomorrow for Sebastian and the night time. Um, but primarily, most of my cases will be children, 18 and under. Right. That's probably why I didn't even do, um, that lad who went missing in Nashville, because he was 21. Even though I feel so bad for his family. I didn't cover that case, but I had it up on my case. I was new to YouTube and I had a lot already on my case. I had Madeline Soto. Um, I was looking at Elijah Vu, which I want to talk about as well one day. That's why people are saying to Seth is in a vulnerable position at the moment. It's just grabbing. It's drowning. It's drowning. And he's just grabbing at anything to give, to get him up out of that water, to get him out. And people said at the beginning, even I said it, I don't want Seth going down that dark route, right? But Tony isn't helping him. He's going down that dark route. And Tony is not helping him. I wonder if he showed uh, Seth that, in, that audio. But, you know, he even threw him under the bus by saying that Seth had something in a sealed bag in the back of his truck from the beginning of Sebastian's. What? I heard someone had something in the truck. I heard that months, weeks and weeks ago, I heard something. And I thought, I'm sure Seth would hand it into the police if that was the case. You know what I mean? Because he wants his son found, he's not going to withhold information back if he's going to help find his son. But that's what he said. Apparently, and people say, oh, so it's those black joggers he had in the bag. No, the black joggers that was found by Tiao was handed into the police because she called the police out and they come and collected it. It's too funny for me to explain how Tony can profit financially from these cases, but trust me, in some cases, he can profit, yeah. He says today, any money he gets from these lives or whatever, right? I don't know if you get paid. I don't know how it works on TikTok, right? Uh, 
goes directly to the families. Yep. Can we see the can we see the receipts, please, Tony? Receipts. We want proof. But he's not gonna do this case for nothing. I don't care what he says. M cars. Hiya. I'm listening and driving. You'll just be careful while you're driving. Oh, did you hear about that as well? Apparently, the other night, um, they got Tony and Steph and some others like being out for a meal, had a few drinks, right? And he's driving home, and he had he was on TikTok while driving home. Guess what profile picture he had up? He had a picture of Sebastian in a nappy as his profile picture. I'm thinking, you one sick mother effer. You know what I mean? And he got a warning or something for that because apparently TikTok don't like any profile pictures of children being put out. And I was laughing about it. I thought, hold oh, on. He's been drinking. He's on, I don't care what picture he had, to be honest with you. I'm glad they pulled him up about it. Right? He's been drinking. He's distracted by his TikTok account on his phone while driving. What if he could hit a car with a mother and her children in it? Or a father and his children? Yep. Well, you know what? I don't like that. Someone out the TBI said it clearly the other day. They don't like to put child porn. Because, no, was it TBI or someone else? Because people today accept pornographic images, right, of women and men. They do. They're not bothered, right? But Porn should not be associated with children. So he said, I'd rather have it as sexual, which it is, it's sexual, SI, it's SI. It's not porn, it's SI. Because that child is not consenting. Adults can consent, yes or no, right? Okay, there might be some women who are being forced into it. So I'm not getting a chance to say, I'm not doing this. I can't, I won't do this. But they're adults. But children, yeah, I don't know. But that's what they call it CP, child P. You know what I mean? And I don't like that either. I like, I'd rather call it as it is. It's C-I. C-I. It's child A-B-U-S-E. And like I said, you have to be careful what I say because YouTube are very strict on certain words going being said and being put out there. I was going to do an update the other day on that case. I still have to. But I might just do videos and put them out. Do a video in the afternoon rather than go live. Just put a video, do a video and then put it out. Because I want to get some videos put up anyway and ready. Because in June, I'm going down to my daughter's full log as a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Come back on the Monday, something like that. So I'm away for four days. So I thought if I can get some videos put together, I can set it to be released on certain days. So at least something is going out daily. So, but I don't know, it's just... Oh, hold on. 
Hát mám čo? Mám čo? <laughs> You're not going to believe this. About half five tonight, I ordered something from Greg's. And by half seven, it was still not here. So I cancelled it. Right, hold on. How many adorable pictures? Yeah. I know. You didn't have to have one of those pictures, you know what I mean? At least Michelle didn't. Who's Michelle? <coughs> the YouTuber. Michelle, the YouTuber. The other British YouTuber. Sebastian is Seth's child. No one tells you how to what to do with your with yours i blocked sg i blocked sg jessica what do you mean you blocked oh me <laughs> <laughs> i know i've got a habit of saying don't move I'll be right back. But, you know, um, it's just so complicated. You don't, you don't know where to start. Anyway, I wanted to go over those two videos of the lights. Because we, just, we sort of like covered it last night. But, right, but I just want to get rid of him. <laughs> On YouTube, too. I can't see their comments. Sorry. Jessica, are you on YouTube or Twitter? Because if you're on Twitter, you won't see their comments. Because who else had that problem last night? Oh, um, what's her name? Can't think of her name now. Someone else last night was on Twitter and she's saying, I can't see their comments. You, yeah. YouTube chat. Yeah, Dippy. She Dippy was on Twitter last night and she said, I can't see their comments. I said, What do you mean you can't see the comments? Then it clicked. If you're on Twitter, you can comment, but you just won't see the other comments in the chat. So But, you know, um, we're going to look at those videos because I want to just dispel. That's, 
Nothing never. Something else I want to dispel is those lights. Dippy, oh, she is hilarious. And you lot wanted me to do phone-ins. Could you imagine if she phoned in? Oh, my God. <coughs> Not happening. <laughs> oh, SRP. <laughs> it's just some, I don't know why I said it. I say it, it's like, <coughs> <coughs> I don't know what I say. I think it may come back to summer where I've been in a group of summer and I've gone, hold on, be right, don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. You know what I mean? Like, don't wander off somewhere, which means I've got to go and sort you out again, find you again. <laughs> it's just a, a little habit I've got. Anyway, so let's, and I think I've got them. Should have them both on my Facebook page. So I'm going to zoom all the way down my Facebook page. So, but it's just, I just want to prove, a, show you what I mean, what I was trying to explain to you last night. Oh, God, I'm just so far down here. I've got so many posts. I post so much some days. It's, um, some days I hardly post, and some days I post quite a lot. So. Oh, come on. Where is he? But I don't think Tony's helping at all. And I, I know Seth is just wanting help. And it's his choice, you know what I mean? And I stand by Seth for that. But if that's the case, Tony, you've just got to pull yourself in. Stop being that big man who makes out to be you're his bodyguard. Your ba his babies. He don't need a bodyguard. He don't need a babysitter. He needs someone to do the interviews while he's at work, so he can come home and just chill out. You know what I mean? That's why he got, he got rid of his PIs because they were saying. They didn't want him going searching here or searching there because they didn't want him to find his son. He didn't want that. He doesn't want people telling him what he can, can and cannot do. He wants his son found, and if that means getting out there on his days off and looking for his son, he will do that. Oh, God, you know, come up. Can't be that far down. Christ. Oh. Right, I've got the one. And the other one is on Nick Berry's, isn't he? So I'll open my Facebook page up again. Because I don't get loose that one. Uh, I'll show you the Nick Berry's one first. Even though he didn't really do his fact checks on this either. He should have done in fact checking for releasing that. Where is it? Oh, God. How many posts do you put up again, Nick? This is ridiculous, Nick. You put more than me. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, so where is he? Don't tell me he's took that video down. If so, I'll have to search through my Facebook page. Oh, hang on. Here it is. Right. Let's go back. Right. Street yard. Oh, found it. I finally found it. Right. Let's just check something first. Hold on. Uh, where am I? Comments coming up here. And I can't. Right. I'm a BGs. <laughs> you're a good cougar. You are that like SL, but you're a good cougar. <laughs> um, who had the nappy pick? Tony on his TikTok app. He was going, he'd been out for a meal and drinking. He had some drinks. He got in his car and he went on TikTok and he was doing a live. And because he was driving, he had this like profile pickle. And it was a picture of Sebastian in a nappy. Right? And he's supposed to be talking about Sebastian. He's not talking about Sebastian. He's talking about everything but Sebastian. Right? And TikTok. Put a, gave him a warning or something like that. I wouldn't even say a creator. I wouldn't even say a creator. I'm so s sick about Seth and Mo. Really? A scared, scared, scared. Sorry. Okay. What does Skadey mean? Yeah. What does Skadey mean? I'm glad you accessed you. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I don't know. Victoria, for me, it's these people he's surrounding himself, but that's just me. Yeah, we may not like the people he's surrounding himself, but that is Seth's choice, and we can't. No one can tell anyone what, who they can and cannot have around them. They have to make their own decisions. Right? And you will. At the moment, it's going through that stage of anger. And... I'm parked now. Uh, good run, cars, M cars, you're parked. I, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't say a creator, I'd say someone who knows what they're doing. You know what I mean? <coughs> someone who knows what they're doing. <coughs> like the other day, he held that phone for Seth to go on that rampage. He held it. <coughs> He even agreed with Seth, yes, you should go on that live. Seth said, should I go up on that live? And he said, yes. He agreed to it and he shouldn't have. Anyway, this is the first one about the lights. The lights. The aliens. Whatever. Right. <laughs> Let's watch it. Morning, February 26th, around 3 10. 
a.m. Now, there are no street lights in the Stafford Court neighborhood, so it is at night pitch black. What you will see here are these two points of light believed to be people with flashlights in the area around Sebastian Rogers' Hendersonville home. It is believed Sebastian left his home barefoot and with a flashlight sometime overnight. Since his disappearance, authorities have reviewed security video from homes in the neighborhood looking for clues. We have had several clips that have come in. And this one is getting the most attention, showing signs of activity around Sebastian's home the night he disappeared. You see two light sources, which we've circled to help you follow. For point of reference, the security camera was pointed toward the back of Sebastian's home in a common area. In the video, you see subject one with a light source in the lower right-hand corner. Then you see subject two briefly appear and move toward the first before that light source is covered or obscured by bushes. Subject one, a few seconds later, then moves out of frame. Then subject two reappears and follows subject one off screen. It's a short time later and it's very vague, but then you see one of the subjects moving quickly back through the common area and that is it. I know there's not much to see here. You certainly cannot identify anyone, but those close to the investigation tell me the mere fact that there is now evidence that someone is in the area around Sebastian's home is significant. This video shows suspicious activity in the immediate area the night Sebastian disappeared. Could one of these subjects have been Sebastian? Did he meet and leave with someone? Sebastian's father says his son would not go with a stranger. It's up in the air for me because I don't think he would get into a vehicle with somebody unless he knew them. So what exactly are we seeing here? I know investigators are doing what's in the video for any more clues. For now, this video is now part of the Sebastian Rogers missing person file. And I'm told it could become more significant Right. Now, when I first seen that, right, I thought, hold on, that's supposed to be at the back of their house, yes? And the two big lights that we've seen, the two big lights, were security lights on their house, right? But I thought, hold on, that camera is quite high. You know what I mean? It looks quite high. Looking down. It looks like it's higher than a roof. And I said that from day one. And then when I was looking on the maps, I realised where I think it came from. And I said it was 101 Stafford Court, like Stafford Court, that that footage came from. I'd, it's just the way the lights, the two big lights were there and the way there was a, the second little light was walking like a bend, like it was going round a bend, a corner. Yeah. Yeah, it is interesting. Looks like it's coming from the camp on that house in, that, in the corner. Isn't that a cop's house? I don't know. I know there was a house that was one of the cop's sites. And it was the cop whose house it was, was actually working the case. From what I understand. Anyway, so you got that one, right? So, and then we go this one, because I, I just thought that camera is really high. And now we know why, because you imagine, right, you're looking at your, you're looking at the screen, your screen. You imagine taking that right hand corner, yeah, and just get your phone, place it at your laptop and just video that right hand corner. Top right hand corner, this area. This area. Yeah. That's what that was. It was literally this size. So you've got the angle of the phone taking a recording 
off that home security of that corner. That's what it was. It was the phone. It's phone footage. Now he should have fact checked all this. Apparently he said law enforcement. He did with law enforcement. Well, law enforcement should have come out and said that's not right. Do not put that out. It doesn't mean nothing. It's not their back garden. We know what it is. You know what I mean? By making it out it's their back garden, you're just putting false information out there. But law enforcement didn't even say that to him. And this is the guy who they now turn to to put their information out for them. Yeah, but he's a reporter, so I don't suppose he's allowed to give out his informants, any informants. You know what I mean? But it had to be a, a member of that household. Like, if they've got a son, perhaps it was his son's friend that videoed that one little section on his phone. Right? Yeah. Let's go to this one. Right. Oh. Right. Go back. This is from Jays for Justice, okay? Now, if you look, you've got the two big lights and then you've got these two little lights, yeah? And, where is it? Is it the one? No. Let's get rid of that one. Let's see if I can get this bigger. Yes, I can get the screen bigger. And you've got that one little light there, yeah? And then in a minute, you'll get that other little light to come out. And it's just the way that light come round, like on a bend. Right? And I thought, I know where that was took. And I was right, I knew it was from this house. Before even anyone said it was from 101, Stafford Court. Right now, see all these cars here? Yeah? Pull up Google Maps. Right, let's just get on now. Right, let's get here. Put my layers on. Let's get over there. Okay. Drop my little man on. Now look at this. Right? See all them? There's more cars there that night. The night, this is from July 2023. But on the night this was, that was filmed, there's obviously more cars on that driveway. Right? Because you can see it. Hold on. See, you can see the cars on that driveway. And you've got the two lights there. Right? Which I believe... Came from this house here. It could be the garage lights because if you look up here, you can see some. I showed you last night, I'm sure. No, it's not. Right. Here. Right. Right, they've got some sort of lights there. Yep. So, those lights 
here. Okay, I'm getting all confused here. <laughs> Where am I? Go back to this. Those big lights there, I believe, come from that house. Come from here. Right, and... Oh, God, what am I doing? The other light in the corner, right, I'm going, flat, going back and forth, but I've got to do it this way. This, this light here, it looks like it's moving, but it isn't. It's because the person who's filming that one little section, his hands are moving. So it makes it look like that little light is moving. I believe that light come from here somewhere, either here, here, or around here, right? And I believe that second light was walking either through here, along, or this way, round, right? Because if you go up there, you get to Sebastian's house and garden anyway so we're going not showing us it should be oh i didn't have it all oh. yeah i did right <coughs> <coughs> All right, let's have a look at the chat. It's taking the attention away from Sebastian, isn't he? And he's supposed to be there highlighting Sebastian. Um, right, just look, just feed law enforcement, just feed Nick info. Perhaps it was playing by law. possibly because he put out that video. Now, who on earth would trust a reporter? Right, when they're putting out a video like that, he put out the video without all these cars in it. He just put out that top bit of the video. It is confusing, but I know. What I'm saying here, you're watching a minute, as this video on the screen continues, I was just trying to point out where the lights, I believe, were coming from, by switching back and forth from Stafford Court 1 to this video, right? He wouldn't know because he's a reporter, as I said, he won't go his inf informants away. Oh, uh, let's go for here. I do believe CP has friends, acquaintances in law enforcement, so I don't know what's really good. Yeah, it's a small town, really, isn't it? It's 
the police the police officers went to school with half of these people in, who live in the area. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> Yeah, we're still on the lights. And the reason I've gone back to this video is because I just want to put to bed that second video that came out where it looks like there's a ruckus going on. Yes, it's the same video as the first one. So how can it be coming from a house up past theirs, up the road, if the video come from the bottom of the road. It all has taken a taint, oh sorry, hi there Necro, Necro Liquor, Necro Liquor. It's all taken a taint from Sebastian. I'm interested in search maps and if teams are going to the bodies of water and cave systems. Wow, there's one guy I know it does is on YouTube and he does a lot of video searches for summer wells. Now they said two of the caves have have collapsed in. How do they know Sebastian wasn't in one of those caves? How do we know Sebastian didn't cause the collapse of one of these caves? You know what I mean? He could have gone in there for shelter to get some sleep. And as he's climbed in, he's probably knocked something and the cave is falling in. I say they need to get these, these teams out there that know how to get into caves. Right? And know how to work inside caves. You know what I mean? The proper people. Not police. Not volunteers, they need the proper people to go and search both of those caves that have been collapsed in. Necro, I saw a video of Echo Search spelling will come back but law enforcement hasn't asked. No, they won't ask. They won't ask. Because Echo Search is like CUE organisation, they work with the police. And unless the police Law enforcement ask them to come back, they won't come back. Anyway, so as I say, this video, oh God's sake, get back up there. This video is <coughs> <coughs> is still the first video, but someone zoomed in on it and i mean zoomed in on it and we're going to see that okay hold on where's the sound Let's get past this part.
Right. Now, that was zoomed right in. Right? And it does look like a ruckus. But, you imagine these trees here, no leaves on them. They've still got the branches. If a wind is blowing them branches in front of those two lights that I showed you, it can, you mind, it can make you see anything if you really want to see it. Because there's no way, no way did that footage come from 1016 Stafford Court. It came from the original footage that Nick Berries put out, which came from This house. This house. Oh, get in. And that camera. Right? I'm not sure if this, this could be a camera or it could just be a light. I think it's just a light. Because someone did a drive-by the other night, the other week. I think it was Tian. And there was a light on, on that, on that house there. Right? So I think that's just a light. But the camera footage came from there. So how on earth... Right? Oh, God. Is camera footage from there going to catch their garage? There's their house. It's not going to get their garage. It's going to catch this house here. And those two lights I just showed you. And these two lights, right? Now, in front of those two lights is trees, right? There's one, two, three, four, five trees in a row, right? They've got no leaves on them at that time of year. But you imagine if a wind is blowing, if there's a wind, the branches are moving, and it's just sets everything up. It does look like there's a ruckus. Right? Oh, where are we? Yeah. So it can't be that for looking down at their garage. It can't be. It's the same video. Well, I'll tell you something. My grandson, right, he now goes to, is it Beavers? They call it Beavers in the UK. Before Scouts or whatever. It's called Beavers. And this group of Beavers, this group, they specialise with children, with special needs, educational needs. And he's still, I'm not sure if he goes for the full hour yet, but he was only going for half, the first time he went, he went for the full hour. But one of the leaders, who is one of his teachers at his school, said to his mother, we advise just letting him come for half an hour. Right, so from there on, on, they've kept him going for half an hour just to break him in. Because as I said, he's got a routine. He comes home from school. He has a snack. He'll go in his bedroom. He'll watch TV or he'll go on his tablet. Then he has his dinner. Then he has a bath. Pyjamas on. Goes to bed. He don't have his tablet when he goes to bed. He has his TV on where he'll watch. They put a film on or something for him. And he goes to sleep. That was his routine. 
So bringing in something else where he was coming home from school, having his tea, right? But then, oh no, you're not having your bath after tea tonight. You've got to go to Beavers and then come home. It was, it was not happening. So, he's been going every week for half an hour. I'll have to ask his mum if he's now going. There was going up to 45 minutes or 40 minutes, something like that. Break him in gradually. He's even got the, uh, I think, he's, I'm not sure if he's, I think he's got the sweatshirt that they need. Right, and something else. I'm not sure if he's got if he uses the tie or not. See what I mean, SRB? This is from that same video. So, how can it be from the garage? Right, I don't think heat cameras work if person is dead. No, but there's some drones that can pick out specific colours on the ground. Right? But because it's all in black, it's going to be very hard to find him on the ground if he's all in black. I think areas pretty dense with trees, drones might not be an option. You know, as I said, there are drones that can pick up colours, right? But like I said, it's all in black, so you're not going to pick him up, are you? So... What's needed is an extremely thorough boots on ground search. Yet yeah, they need to start again from the house outwards. Because what was it? So I heard someone say there was once there was a case where the law enforcement had been in and searched, right? We track the dogs and all that lot, found nothing. Then someone else went in like two weeks or something later and they came across some information, some items, which law enforcement had missed when they went through. So it needs to be gone from the beginning again. Scrap that map they've got on the screen. Well, don't scrap it, just save all the information. And start again, though, with another map. Their drones can test for odour, like gases, really? But... The odour from a body, I, can't, I don't know if it could pick up that. Because dogs pick it up, but I don't know if drones will pick it up. But it's interesting, if that's the case, sorry. Their drones can catch for their light glasses. I wouldn't, I don't know. I, I know they, there's some drones that can pick out specific colours or colours, you know what I mean, on the ground. But if he's all in black, you're not going to pick him out, are you? He's black, he's all in black, he's lying on the ground where it's all green and whatever. So I'm not sure if it pick up an odour. Do you see what I mean now about that video, right, about this? It cannot be the same from 1016 one, one Stafford Court when it's from the same video. Right, hold on. When it's from this, oh, God's sake, kids doing this to me. When it's from the same video. See? 
that is the same, that's that video we've just been watching, where they zoomed right in. It's from the same video with the lights. But they're now saying, ignore those two lights and just concentrate on these two. And I was watching it, and as, this, as they went on, I thought, hold on, now they're trying to say that footage came from this house because it looks down on their garage. But I know for a fact it came from this house on the corner. And that's what I've been trying to tell people on Facebook pages, and they just don't want to know. I know that, but it's an interesting question. With technology today, you never know what's You don't know what's available, no. Think about how hard it was for the drones to pick up a up Calfang, Calfang County in the dense forest. I know. Right. I guess that's it. That he's all in black don't matter at the time, but looking back, it's just bizarre. Yeah. It is just bizarre. Okay, then, SRB. See you soon. Take care. Enjoy your pork. I don't eat pork, so. But have a nice meal. Bye. But that's all I was trying to do is say to people, this is the same video that Nick Berries released. And we know it came from, it was after, like a week or so later, that it came out, that it came from this house. Because everyone's going, and I'm going, well, that camera's really high. Looking down on their garden must be really high. And I'm looking at the houses around there, and I'm thinking, there's no houses high enough to be getting that height of that video. But then when I watched it more, and I went on the Google Maps, and... Right, I went on Google Maps. Oh, God. Let me get round. Come on. When I went on Google Maps and I came, and it's just, I looked at, I, I was coming down the road, sort of thing, like that. And I, know, I knew that camera, and then I thought, oh, dog, oh, dog. And the way that second light comes into it, it's like here. You've got the two big lights here, which I thought at first looked like car lights. But someone said to me, no, they're house security lights. So when I got that cleared, I thought, that isn't their back garden. That isn't their back area. And that's when I realised, this is round here. It was taken round here. But you look at all those trees there in front of that garage where the lights are. You know what I mean? All them branches without leaves on. I'm moving. I see a lot. Of, I've got a lot of trees by me, and I can see the trees move, even on a nice, calm night. The branches are still moving. All right, and the other light I think came from this house, and that. But because it looked like it was moving, you thought it was someone else. And it wasn't, it's because whoever videoed that top corner piece of that original footage, his hands were shaking or moving as he's filming. But you still can't rule out that one light that was there. And it's like everyone's ruled out that light. Why? I'm going so the video claimed to be the 26th was the one that, was that the one of someone taking out the trash? 
because that's what I thought the fuss was about. It was heavier than usual, but Sebastian supposedly took it out. Right. Well, there is a video of Sebastian supposedly taking the trash out. But Seth has said it was too grainy, too dark to tell if it was Sebastian. Right? So the only official video that Seth has seen of proof of life of Sebastian was when he left this Texas roadhouse at about, pardon me, at about 6.30 on the night to come home with his mum. Law enforcement uh, said it was Sebastian, by the way, you could see him skipping up the driveway. But if Seth couldn't tell that, then how can law enforcement tell? Seth would know if that was his son by the way he moved. But Seth said he couldn't even tell it was too dark and too grainy. You imagine, looking at, look at this one here, right? You've got this picture here. Yeah. <coughs> 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 Well, imagine someone coming along and putting the rubbish out and then with a little hand torch and skipping up the... You wouldn't really see the skipping. You'd probably see the torch moving back and forth. <coughs> <coughs> but you wouldn't see anything else. So... That's really what I was trying to show tonight, was just those two videos that it came. Both videos, this video here, came from the very first video that Nick Berries put out. Right? And then we got the fuller version of it, which showed this. Right? Showed you all this. But for some reason, someone has zoomed in and zoomed in and zoomed in on those two lights and making it look like it's from another house that has got a camera aiming, which could, which the way the angle of their camera is, will catch Chris CP's garage lights. Right, but it wasn't taken from that house, it was taken from the beginning. So, <coughs> <coughs> if you can take anything away from tonight, it's the fact that this video was took from 1001 Stafford Court. Right, and these two lights here that are circle are just the garage lights of that house, right, of just the garage lights of this house, right, right, hang on, that, they never turn the lights on for the trash to be taken out, it's ridiculous, exactly, I said that, but they said the lights were on, Chris said, they, when those acts by Nancy Grace, have you got any outside lights? Right? And he said, no. She said, she said, no. The only lights I've got are my little solar panel lights in the garden. And Chris said, we've got the two garage lights, two lights above the garage that are always on. Now, if those two lights were on on the Sunday night, surely it would have caught, gave off enough light, yeah, as they come up the driveway again, to give off some sort of reflection or shadow or something, and you'd be able to see that. Full-grown adults need to see at night to take trash out. It's like a face... Face your fears kind of parenting, yeah? You're not wearing your shoes, just go out without your shoes, knowing that they don't like shoes, uh, going outside without shoes, putting them outside as a punishment. 
without his shoes on. That's a hell of a punishment, and that isn't good. So, I'm going to take this down anyway, because I'll put a link in the description. So, if you want to go and watch it again, you can. But, just keep in mind that this video that she's got on her channel is from the original video that Nick Berry's put out. Okay? Which came from 101 Stafford Court. And I'm not going to even tell anyone, I'm not going to even correct anyone anymore on Facebook when I put this out because they're not listening. It's like, nope, 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 not listening. They don't want to know the true facts. It's like they want to believe this information to be true. I wish it was true. If law enforcement come out and say, that video footage came from 1016 Stafford Corp, I'd go, okay, let's pull that video back up again then. Because then, to me, that will hold some more, we'll talk some credibility, you know what I mean? But at the moment, they said it came from 1001 Stafford Court. The videos and information about them is rather confusing to me. I do believe what law enforcement says, that Sebastian took out the garbage. Everything else on video is... Yeah. I believe he took him, I believe he took that rubbish out. And it was after he took that rubbish out, he went to bed. And I believe something happened where he wasn't going to go to sleep. The medication wasn't kicking in. He was overstimulated. He was overstimulated. He'd had one hell of a really good day. You know what I mean? With friend uh, with family and his niece and his aunts and his mom going out to oh what place I can't think of and then bowling and then going to the steakhouse for something to eat. You know what I mean? So I it's like the other week I only took my grandson over the park. Over the park, he's only there, what, about 45 minutes to an hour? And we come back, and he was tired. And he fell asleep on my living room floor for an hour. Then I woke him up when his dinner was ready, and he sat up, and he sat and ate his dinner. And normally, this is a child that loves to go and sit in the bath. He'd have two, three, four baths a day at mine because he just sits in there with his tablet resting on, on the radiator opposite the bath, sits in there watching his tablet. And he'll sit there for, I think the longest he was in there one, once was two hours. And I went in, I said, Ellis, you've got to get out. It's cold, the water's cold. Please, babes, you've got to get out. You're going to make yourself ill. Now... If he goes in there, he's in there for, what, 10 minutes at the most? I'm thinking, this isn't like you. SG, when CP said somewhere that Sebastian thought they'd, move, they'd remove CP from the home, just seems like something that would, should have been never been said after the disappearance. Could have meant nothing, but when CP said somewhere that Sebastian thought they'd remove. No, I'll tell you what it is. CP was told by child services, I believe, I believe that he was not to be in the home while the case was open. Right? So he's not to be in the home when Sebastian was there. So that's why he got the five wheel up and he stayed down there the whole month. Because we couldn't understand why would you not come home on the weekends? 
right? But he couldn't. And I think Katie was getting annoyed with Willie. She's angry at the fact that her husband couldn't be there. And I think she's kind of like taking out on Se uh, Sebastian. It's your fault that Chris can't be here. You know what I mean? That's just my opinion as well. Yes. Oh, they've got the capabilities to see more on video if they want you. Many things said by C very very sus. He has. And then it comes out of that interview the other night, all nice and nicey. Yeah, give me the bucket. Let him go there. No. I don't think they would I think they'd probably help out after the incident. Something happened, and I think they probably stepped in and helped out after that incident. Yeah. But I don't think they had anything to do with it beforehand. They've stepped in to help out because apparently Chris phoned his mum in the morning. And the reason he gave for phoning his mum is exactly what I said it was. So that she she could be there for Katie until he got home. I said that's the reason he would put out the reason for his mum being there. Was so that she could be there to support poor little Katie until he got home. I think he phoned his mum and said, Mum, we need your help. You know what I mean? And that's when she stepped up, met up with Katie somewhere, done a swap, got Sebastian out of that car very quickly. Right, very quickly. I mean, CP could have stayed with... Yeah, he could have stayed with his mum. He could have, yeah. For all we know, perhaps he was. Because we've got no proof he was down there all month. We've got no proof at all, only his word. So, yeah, perhaps he could have been. See, all this information we've got, really, on this... The only information we've got from law enforcement is this. On the 26th of February, 6.20. No, 6.30-something, right, is when the phone call came through to dispatch that Sebastian was missing. So Sebastian went missing at 6 a.m. Between 12 a.m. and 6 a.m. That's all we know. Police were dispatched, got to their house about, what, 10 to 7, 5 to 7. Apparently Katie wasn't there. I don't know. Don't know about that. I'll have to, look, I'll have to check that up. Find some, try and find out somewhere. And that is it. That apparently... He just walked out that door. We don't, they don't know why he walked out that door. Right, but he did. And that is all we know. That he was reported missing between 12 a.m. and 6 a.m. in the morning. And the reason they're giving is he just walked out that house in the middle of the night. Don't know why. He walked out, no shoes. No coat, no phone, no money. Just walked out the house barefoot. Necro. One thing is real and that. KP didn't want to be in the home alone. Yes. Yes. Now, I said there was two reasons she wasn't in that home. 
one was uh, Chris didn't trust her because of the so-called rumour that was going around of her having an affair with one of the neighbours, which I don't think she was. Right? And all two, she didn't want to be there because of what had happened in that house. So, yes, you're correct. I believe that as well. Something happened in that house and she don't want to be there. So, anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. Because I've got to take my medication and go to bed. And um, I'll be back tomorrow night. I'll do a video tomorrow afternoon on my other channel. Please, um, I'm going to let me pull it up. Right, I'll pull my other channel up. If you haven't... Oh, God, come on. <sighs> See, my second channel, and it's all about... I'm focusing on other children, missing children cases, that have not been spoke about. Right? They have not been spoke about. So I'm looking at cases recently as well that have happened this year where it's, they've had no focus on these children, no focus at all. So I'm looking at case those cases and I'm looking at about three. I'm doing one video a week, maybe two if I get the time to do two videos. But each video I will be going doing discussing between two and three cases, missing children's cases, okay? Sometimes I might go live, but I'm just doing a video for tomorrow, right? And so that's the channel my videos will be on. So if you want to keep in updated with that, please go over and subscribe. It will help me out. And at the, at the moment, I'm just standing at one um, one video or one live a week on that channel. Because when you're looking at three cases, it's a lot to, to get all the information together on those three cases. So, and then... I can concentrate on getting all the information on those three cases because this case with Sebastian, there's nothing really anything new coming out. So I'm just going back, looking back, starting from ground zero. And at the moment, we're still on Stafford Court. I haven't even left that road yet, and I've been doing this now. I've been going back to ground zero now for about a week. And we're still on Stafford Court. Right, so I'm not sure what tomorrow will be about. Oh, I do. I want to look at that video. Not the hands. Not the one with the hands. That's just creepy. I want to look at the other video with the, where they did with the YouTuber. Can't think of the name of the YouTuber. I think I've got it on my Facebook page, but I've got it. And I thought we'd look over that one. Just because we looked over the very first interview they did with WSMV4. Now, this video, which we're going to be looking at tomorrow, of their interview, is um, about a month or so later. <coughs> so you'll be able to pick up on the differences, what they've said different. Night, Necro Licker. Good night. And you'll just be able to tell the differences. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'm going to say good night. Thank you. Good night, M MCAS. Good night. And thank you for being here, everyone. <coughs> <coughs> thank you. Thank you.
Thank you very much, Emcos. So I'll be back tomorrow night. Okay. What am I doing? Yeah. So thank you again, everyone. Good night.